Welcome to getting started with CMake using Chosky. I'm going to demonstrate how to build Chosky using CMake. We're going to cover three operating systems and four build generators. You may be tempted to skip ahead past the generators you don't care about, but I encourage you to hold off on that. Many of the things I will demonstrate are not necessarily platform or generator specific. My hope is that you will see the big picture by comparing and contrasting the different systems and how they share a single CMake build description. So to start with, let me introduce this Mac. This Mac is actually a triple boot system. So in addition to having Leopard, it also has a Windows XP 32-bit partition and an Ubuntu Linux 64-bit partition. To make things a little more interesting, I've also installed VMware, so I can run Ubuntu and Windows virtualized. This will allow us to compare the different operating systems and build generators side by side. So let me show you. In my virtual spaces here, I have placed Ubuntu and Windows. Now to show off a little bit more, I have a shared directory that all three OS's can see. So for my Mac, this directory is in users shared, VMware shared, CVS. And I've checked out a single copy of Chosky. Now <clears throat> from the finder, you can also see it through users, shared, VMware shared, CVS. And here's Chosky. So we're going to do two Linux builds, a Mac build and a Windows build. Then we're going to come back to Linux and show how things have come full circle. So let's start with Linux and with the make file generator. Now first and foremost, CMake heavily encourages out of source builds. This means that your intermediate and built files are not in the same place as the source code. You might find this strange, but it has many advantages, such as keeping your revision control repository clean. You might also imagine cases where the source code is read-only, such as on a CD-ROM. In fact, my shared partition has restricted write privileges in Linux, um, VMware, by default. Now, I've changed those uh, defaults so I can actually write, but you can imagine these scenarios do pop up. Now, you may use CMake insource, but I warn you now that you'll get a lot of CMake specific files cluttering your repo. So the first thing we want to do is create a build directory. Now, some people like to make a folder inside the source code itself. This is still technically out of source, as all files will be aside, but I personally like things to have, have things completely outside so revision control never sees it. But this is a preference thing. So for some people, they like to go into the source directory, and then they would make a directory like build. You can call this anything you want. <clears throat> but my preference is to put it aside. So I will put it here. And let's give it a good name so we can tell what it is. So it's going to be Linux, and it's going to be makefile. So we'll cd into this directory, and we're going to use the CMake command. Now, I have CMake version 2.6 on my system. The package that came with my version of Ubuntu actually only ships with CMake 2.4. Now, our CMake descriptions have assumed that we're using CMake 2.6, so you will need to get a newer version. So you'll want to download the source and compile it yourself if you do not have the current version. Now CMake actually has several different utilities, one called CMake, another one called CCMake, and another one called CMake GUI. Um, we'll get to the other two later. Well, let's start with just raw, plain CMake. Now CMake by default uses a makefile generator, so we don't need to specify any special switches for that. So all CMake really needs is the path to the source directory. So my source directory is next to it, so I'll go dot dot slash Chosky and I'll hit enter. Now CMake is now going through an auto detection phase. It's looking for all the dependencies that Chosky needs and make sure you have them on your system. This is very similar to autoconf um, and um, if it fails you'll get prompted about which components are missing. Now that we found everything and I assume I assumed ahead of time that we've installed all the third-party dependencies Getting the third-party dependencies on the system is another tutorial in itself. So now that I have a makefile, 
I can do make help and it'll show me all the different targets. You notice there are actually a lot of targets here and each one represents a different thing that we build in Chosky. Now by default it will just do all. So if we just do make it will make everything that the make file system was intended to build. Now if I do that it's going to start chugging along and it has a nice syntax coloring and um, a progress meter which is really nice. Now some people don't like this so I'm going to break out of this. Control C. Some people actually like to see the raw of GCC commands. So there's a trick here where you can do make verbose equals one. And it's going to show all the raw OpenGL or um, GCC commands. Now, I only like using this when I'm actually tracking down a problem. So I am going to break out of this. And actually, I am going to do make dash J because this is just make. And so um, my virtual machine, I've assigned four cores. So I'll give it four threads here. And, and we'll get this thing.